Hey everybody, welcome to this video guide for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Remastered on the Xbox Series X. Today we are completing the Naval Cannon War Machine mission and getting 100% synchronization on it. And to do so, you need to make sure that you open one of the first three gates during the memory. So let's get started. First thing you're going to be doing is heading to the Leonardo icon for one of Leonardo's war machines. It's located in the central district, the southern gate of the central district to be exact. And we are just going to be heading straight towards that and getting this memory started. Okay, starting up our mission, we are going to meet up with Eduardo. He is the, I don't know what you want to call him, boat guy. Let's just call him the boat guy or Eduardo. We're going to meet up with the boat guy and we are going to be going through the tunnels with him. The 100% synchronization requirement for this memory is to make sure that you open one of the first three gates for him. The first opportunity to open the gate is of course the first one which I honestly rarely have ever made so I'd recommend you just go ahead and don't worry about that gate specifically and you focus on the final two gates as those ones have the best opportunity for you to get to those gates before Eduardo arrives. You are the assassin, am I right? You must stop Cesare. I will help you. Let me take you to them. Grazie. Like I had just mentioned, the first gate is a bit more difficult to get towards. You can, of course, get towards it. You just have to go past Eduardo here and you need to make sure that you get to the very first gate really quickly and you just need to make sure you get there before him so that way you can open the gate for him instead of letting a guard open the gate for him. But for me, I prefer not to get this one as this one is just, you know, a time crunch. You gotta go there quick, quick, quick and you're swimming, so... I, I personally don't don't like this one. I prefer the second or the third gate to be open manually by me. So we just get over here and we wait for the first guard to open the gate for us. We take out this guard on our way just so that way we can get up there pretty quick. Once we've done that, we are going to be getting ahead of Eduardo using the rafters above. With Eduardo making his way through the very first gate, we are going to go ahead and get up into the rafters and we are going to do our best to get ahead of him quickly. If you get too far ahead of him, you will desync because you've gone too far away from him. So you want to make sure that you're sort of at a good distance but still ahead of him. So just keep up the pace that you would normally be at and make sure that you're just watching him and where he's at. You don't need to kill too many guards if you are above them in the rafters here. But some guards may detect you if you get, you know, unlucky with a kill or something. So I'd recommend that you be careful with these kills. Like you can see, I missed my shot here. How did I miss that shot? What the hell? But regardless, just keep on going. And if you ever see reduced distance to target, let Eduardo catch up to you and make sure that you give it a sec for him to catch up. Now, this guard right here, I'd recommend that you shoot them with a crossbow or a throwing knife or a poison dart or anything that is not an air assassination because... There is a guard that is just in front of you here and I attempted an air assassination instead of a crossbow kill and I was somehow detected. You can see I was trying to shoot them just to make sure I didn't get detected. But it was like it made no sense that I jumped down and air assassinated this guy and then I was just detected. So you want to make sure you're really careful around this area and just clear out any guards in the area before you perform an air assassination like that one. And if you had made it to the gate before Eduardo had arrived and made one of the guards open it, that gate is opened and you have gotten 100% synchronization. 
there is one more gate left for you to get 100% synchronization in so let's head over to that again we are going to be making sure that we stay ahead of eduardo so that way we can get to the gate in time for us to open it instead of one of the guards Now that we have made it to the third gate, I would of course recommend that you use a crossbow and maybe not go for the air assassination right away. For me, you know, this game is weird. I could not shoot him with a crossbow, so I just opted for the air assassination. And I got lucky that that guard over there wasn't too concerned about me and I was able to shoot them with a crossbow. Then I was safe to get the air assassination. Now that I have the gate, we can open it for Eduardo. And if you did not get the second gate or the first gate open, like I had not done the first gate, but I did the second gate. If you've not done either, this is your last chance. So make sure you do it on at least the third. And if you've done that, you have gotten 100% synchronization. And from here on out, it is just a matter of completing the memory. So let's continue on to the dry docks. Work with you. Is the cannon ready? We are working day and night. My men cannot go any faster. Once you have arrived at the dry docks, we are going to just don't worry about going stealthily. We can go loud and just get to the blueprints as quick as possible. After you get to the blueprints, we will be getting the naval war machine. 
and we will be starting up a naval fight outside. Once you've completed the naval fight, the memory will have been completed. Fair warning, the naval fight is a bit funky in its controls. It's like a light version of what Black Flag would come to be, so you may be familiar with controls in its essence, but not, you know, it's not perfect yet. So let's continue on with the memory. See if you can bite your master's head, shall we? Like I had mentioned, get ready for some funky controls. Really, it is a little bit straightforward, but you just gotta really pay attention to how you're maneuvering and everything. I find it a bit clunky, you can see I just like rammed right into the boat, but I got the hang of it after long enough, and you just need to destroy like 8 boats, I don't remember the exact number, you'll see, you need to destroy 3 boats here, and then maybe 4 to 5 boats there. It is just a bit of a laborious task, but once you have completed these naval battles, you will have completed the memory, and if you had made sure that you closed at least one of the gates, you have also gotten 100% synchronization.
Perdonatemi, Leonardo. Now, with the naval cannon destroyed, you have completed the memory. Again, if you had made sure that you open at least one of the gates for Eduardo throughout the memory, you have also gotten 100% synchronization. Thank you very much for watching this video. Stick around and subscribe to my channel for more content like this one, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.